there are two basic approaches for performing an ultrasound-guided thoracentesis. The most common is the posterior approach, with the patient sitting up and leaning forward. An alternative approach is the anterior lateral approach when the patient is in a semi-recumbent position. This is helpful for patients that are unable to sit up, such as those who are sedated and receiving mechanical ventilation. Your goal is to slide the needle above the rib and to avoid the neurovascular bundle that travels along the inferior rib. You will likely not be able to visualize this on ultrasound given the extent of rib shadowing. You can use ultrasound to define your safety zone. You can measure the distance here from the entry of the skin into the packet of fluid and know how far you can go without hitting critical structures. On the right, you can see the measurement marks of the ultrasound machine screen. This is set to a depth of 21 centimeters. This tick here with the second blue arrow is showing 10 centimeters. This would be a good idea of how deep your needle can go in before it hits crucial structures. Another way ultrasound can be useful is to get a sense of how deep your lidocaine needle has to travel. That's this distance here. Again, this is the superficial tissue prior to entering the cavity of the effusion. It doesn't help the patient very much if you instill lidocaine into their pleural effusion instead of their skin. Once the effusion is identified and the spot for thoracentesis is identified, as long as you don't allow the patient to reposition or move, you don't necessarily need ultrasound real-time while inserting the needle for thoracentesis. You could have an assistant hold the probe with a sterile cover for you if you prefer to have real-time guidance or if the patient is unable to lie still. It's good practice to have your probe sterile and available, however. Once you are finished with the fluid draining out, take another look with ultrasound to see if enough fluid has drained out. Sometimes there can be loculations or cloth that the needle can be obstructed by. Useful information to have before pulling the needle out. If you need to get more fluid out, you can gently reposition the needle. Hooray! Now you know the basics for ultrasound guidance for thoracentesis. So I hope you liked this video. Absolutely make sure to check out the course this video was taken from and to register for a free trial account which will give you access to selected chapters of the course. If you want to learn how MetMastery can help you become a great clinician, make sure to watch the About MetMastery video. So thanks for watching and I hope to see you again soon.